Hi, I'm Alejandro Rogers, and today we're here at CES 2025, and right now we're with Kevin, which is gonna tell us about these amazing laptops that are HP. Hey Kevin, how's it going? Going well. Great, great. First, first question, does your company issue you a laptop? Yes, it does. Okay, well this is what you want. So tell them that you gotta have these. This is our, our brand new HP EliteBook Ultra uh, G1i. So G1 means generation one. It's a brand new line for us. And this machine is, is basically aimed at executives who are always on the go or freelancers. Um, so not me, because I'm not an executive, but it's okay, well, I still want it. <laughs> it's, you, can still, you can still have it. It's a really nice machine. It's all magnesium frame, so very light. And actually it's, it's recycled magnesium. So that oh. means sustainable as well as beautiful and, and thin and light. Now some things about it, it's using the latest Intel Lunar Lake processor, so you've got an NPU. It's capable of being a Copilot Plus mm -hmm. PC as soon as, Microsoft, as soon as Microsoft makes the, the bits right. available. It's got a beautiful 2.8K OLED display. And some of the things HP always does on these machines, feel the keyboard, the keys have a really nice click to them, very nice, a nice amount of travel. Uh, we get a lot of compliments on our keyboards from journalists and from users. Uh, it's got a haptic trackpad. And I don't know if you're aware, but on many machines, the trackpad is hinged on the top. Mm -hmm. So it makes it difficult to click it all over. However, a haptic trackpad doesn't actually move, but it does give you some feedback. So click on it, oh, yeah. and it will feel, it'll feel like it's uh, actually moving but you're actually getting the, fee the haptic feedback so that uh, the, key the trackpad doesn't need to move, but you still get great responsiveness. Oh, this, is, this is beautiful, and I actually also the, the trackpad is pretty big compared to other ones. It is I've a very seen. large trackpad. It's really nice. And the other thing that actually we were talking a, a minute ago is this is actually even thinner than the ones we're gonna show in, in yes. a minute. So it's, it's beautiful. I see uh, two Thunderbolt ports over here, mm -hmm. which is really nice, very useful. And here you have your Type A, and also, uh, oh yeah, I think it's a USB C, and it's it looks great. I mean, oh, and audio jack. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah, for being so so, so thin. But yeah, one I mean, one of the one of the messages we've gotten from both customers and journalists mm -hmm. is that they don't like it when we put our all of our charging ports on one side. Mm -hmm. So you'll see USB C on this side with Thunderbolt. You see USB C on this side. All of those can be used to charge the machine. Nice. So depending on where your plug is. You can plug in on this side, plug in on this side, whatever it takes. And it's little touches like that that we hear from our customers that we engineer into these new machines when we build them. No, it's beautiful, I really like it. So, okay, so this is the Elite Book Ultra. This is the Elite Book Ultra. And now we have, what do we have here? Now, this one is primarily aimed at perhaps executives or someone like that. Mm -hmm. This one is our Elite Book X series. Nice. And there are two versions of it. One is the clamshell version. Mm -hmm. So that one closes and it opens up to, opens up to 180 degrees. Nice, really nice. This one is the flip version. So the, the thing I really love about the flip laptops is there's absolutely no trade-off to get a flip laptop. As, as a clamshell, it works beautifully. However, if you need to use it uh, as a tablet, flip it over, Put it in tablet mode, the keyboard's turned off, you can use it as a tablet, set it on a table and use it with a pen to do drawing or anything like that. Or a couple other things. One is temp mode. Oh nice. So if you're in a customer meeting or something like that and doing a presentation to a customer, put it in temp mode and your presentation will show without the keyboard in the way or anything else like that. It just makes it a nicer environment. And of course that's touch screen because of the... It is a touch screen and of course supports a pen. Now these also have the latest Lunar Lake processors with NPU. And HP actually provides some um, AI software for these. We've got, actually we've got a 9 megapixel camera on these. We've got a 5 megapixel camera on these. Both of those are higher resolutions than, most of, than you'll see on most laptops. But we've also got our HP uh, Polycamera Pro mm -hmm. software. So Polycamera Pro allows to, you to adjust things like your background, brightness. It allows you to set a mode where if I'm presenting and I move back and forth a little bit, 
it'll follow me. Oh, nice. So the camera has a wide enough field of view that it'll follow you within that field of view to keep you centered on the screen. Also, Polycamera Pro can do all of its, all of its tricks with an external camera. So a lot of people who are doing blogging or something like that will hook up a, a high quality external camera and Polycamera Pro will let you use that as well. No, that, that's, that, that comes really handy, especially nowadays that we're all on video conference. Yeah, we're on video conference you know, all the time. And if you tried this one out, you'd find out that just the standard HP camera gives you a great image. Uh, you don't need that extra camera, but a lot of people just have, have the, the desire to have that, that extra level of, um, of vis visibility with the new camera. Now, something else about a corporate PC is connectivity. So you can see here, you've got a, a Thunderbolt port, you've got a Type A port, you've got a lock socket. Very important. More Thunderbolt um, and an HDMI port. Business people are doing presentations all the time. Yes, we Being are. able to just plug in <laughs> HDMI instead of having to plug in a dongle or a converter or something like that is really important. Oh. Now, something else that's important in an enterprise environment is security. And HP Wolf security on both of these machines means that we're monitoring your machine and actually adding some AI features to Wolf security so it can analyze uh, possible attacks. We've also got an HP proprietary security chip that's built into these machines and monitors the bias. So even, even if you get a bias attack, and, that, and that's pretty, pretty nasty, because mm -hmm. a bias attack means you can re-image the machine, Correct. but Correct. the virus is still there. Well, we can monitor that and prevent it, or if at startup we find that the bias has been um, corrupted, we can actually reload a, uh, a, a clean copy without any user interaction at all. So to a user, they just keep going. No, that's beautiful, and it's amazing all the different features you have, especially thinking about from a corporate perspective, from a yeah. fleet of, of laptops to, to do that. And it's great that you guys have the Intercoral Trad 200V series, also known as Lunar Lake in there. Mm -hmm. I bet that gives you guys great battery life. And I mean, it, gives, it gives us fantastic battery life, great performance. Um, and then this mm -hmm. one, even with an OLED display, you yes. still get that great battery life. No, this is great. Kevin, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having yeah. us. Good talking to you. All right, so we just heard Kevin from all the different technical perspectives, but there's more to this, which is a great product, and there's a lot of story behind it, a lot of engineering story. And to tell us that, we have Corey. Hey, Corey. Nice Hello, how are you? Yeah, good to see you, Alex. Good to see you, Thanks. too. Yep. Uh, so for those who don't know you, uh, what do you do at HP? Sure, yeah, so I have a fun job. I get to uh, work on cool products all day. Um, so I head up our commercial PC portfolio product management team. So the team and I are responsible for the worldwide commercial portfolio. So our notebooks, desktops that we deliver uh, to all of our worldwide customers. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So I heard you have some great stories. Well, how do we collaborate it together between Intel and HP to deliver such a great product like this one we have here? Yeah, sure. First, I'll just say it's excited to be here You know, at this moment that we're here and uh, able to show off the work that we've been doing. So really, our collaboration started a couple of years ago mm -hmm. uh, with the Lunar Lake lineup. And so as the Intel team started telling us about what they were working on, it was really a match made in heaven for some of the products that we were working on our roadmap to really support um, a number of our users. But in particular, here we'll be talking about about our modern leaders and these uh, individuals that need a lot of performance, right? right? They're doing a lot of work and they need the system to be able to keep up with them, but they're doing it all day. Sometimes they don't want to be tethered to a uh, power outlet. And so power, performance, efficiency, all of that, and now taking advantage of AI, it's just an incredible opportunity for us to bring these technologies together and really deliver a compelling roadmap. No, that is awesome. Uh, yeah. We were talking earlier, you were mentioning something about how you guys were able to create such a compelling and also like uh, do a little bit less, less noisy, kind of reduce the fan noise and all that other stuff. That's right. Yeah, and so um, you know, we we come to market with what we call HP SmartSense, and SmartSense is really it's enabled through you know the partnership with Intel and the EPO technology, and we just start partnering very early on in the engineering effort and get the teams together in the labs and say, okay, how can we find the right balance and we tune the system according to how it's being used. Right. And so that SmartSense does enable either performance when you need it, or if you want to be cool and quiet and more power efficient, it's able to dynamically tune that system performance uh, real time to provide a much better user experience that can keep up with the workloads. That, that's pretty cool, that's pretty yeah. amazing. And now in the age of uh, 
AI accelerators, I know you guys are taking advantage of that. You guys have some different types of software and applications that you're using. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Sure, yeah, and so you know that SmartSense technology that I talked about, it, you know, it's kind of embedded AI at a system level, but it really supports a number of workloads, whether it's just at the operating system and Copilot Plus with on-device AI capabilities, or as we get into HP applications with our AI Companion or Polycamera Pro, and then also increasingly, and this has really been a key part of the partnership with Intel, is around ISVs and the application providers and the co-engineering work to really take advantage of all compute engines, the CPU, the GPU, and now the NPU, to enable much better performance, or in some cases, workflows that you couldn't do prior. And so, Canvid, one good example Thanks. for more modern communication and video content creation, being able to 170% faster than our prior gen oh, solution, okay. right? Or write up, being able to do more tailored writing with language translation and also tone changes, and I can do that 140% plus uh, more um, uh, performant yeah. gen over gen. That's great. I mean, yeah. translation in, in the world that we live in, especially as it comes smaller, right. becomes really useful. Absolutely. That's awesome. Also, you guys ha work something very cool, which is uh, these uh, docs. That's right. Yes, indeed. Yeah. So the collaboration didn't just stop at the systems, but we also, um, you know, took into consideration the critical importance of what are you doing, where are you doing it, and what mm -hmm. are you connected to. And so the dock is a critical part. Fifty-four percent of our time is spent docked. If you're a modern leader, and so taking advantage of Thunderbolt Four technology, and then building on top of that with um, some cool capabilities that enable actually the dock with intelligence built in in the system to start the handshake even as you approach the dock. Oh, nice. So it starts to wake up, starts to activate, and then that enables a much more seamless connection between the PC and the dock. Or in addition to that, being able to do over-the-air updates on the dock so that you don't have to plug in the PC to update all the firmware and everything. Oh, wow. Instead, I can just manage these independently from the system, which is great for IT, all managed through our poly backend device management system. That, that saves a lot of time, and it's pretty impressive what you can do. And these are also connected if you want to through Thunderbolt 4, right? That's right. It's all Thunderbolt 4. We have various degrees of power capabilities depending on what the host system is and what the configuration is. So very excited to get these in the hands of the users so you can really take advantage of all this latest technology and accelerate workflows. No, this is pretty exciting. This is yeah. beautiful. And man, this is a great story. Corey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank Thanks you, Alex. Appreciate it. Thanks for the partnership. Thank, thank you. you.